I'm Bill Wagerman, staff writer for Ohio Valley Outdoors. In January of 2013, Savage introduced the Bolt Magnum, aka B-Mag, chambered in a completely new cartridge introduced by Winchester, the 17 Winchester Super Magnum. This cartridge and rifle combination brought something entirely new to the shooting sports, a rimfire cartridge capable of 3,000 feet per second muzzle velocity and a bolt action rifle able to shoot the new cartridge. Now, a little bit about the 17 Winchester Super Magnum. To develop the 17 WSM rimfire cartridge, Winchester started with the 27 caliber power actuated tool and casing, but beefed it up in multiple areas to ensure it could withstand a higher pressure from the specially blended proprietary powder and priming mix that are specially formulated for this cartridge. At 33,000 PSI, the pressure of the 17 WSM is over 25% greater than a 17 HMR and only about 25% less than a centerfire 22 Hornet. The 17 WSM with a 20 grain bullet has more energy at 200 yards than a 17 HMR with a 20 grain bullet at 75 yards. The bullet velocity at 200 yards of the 17 WSM with a 20 grain bullet is about the same as a 17 HMR with a 20 grain bullet at 50 yards. Let's take a closer look at the Savage B-Mag. The barrel is made from carbon steel and features a slender sportster taper from 0.86 inches near the receiver to barely over a half inch at the muzzle. The length of the barrel is 22 inches. That's one inch longer than other rifles in Savage's 17 series. The added inch helps the 17 WSM attain the higher muzzle velocities. The barrel is button rifled with six grooves and a one in nine right hand twist. Like many of Savage's centerfire rifles, the barrel is threaded into the receiver to ensure proper head spacing that is critical for maximizing accuracy. The B-Mag has a raised ridge around the chamber creating clearance for the extractor, not the typical notch cut into the chamber leaving part of the chamber unsupported. The bolt is designed to meet the unique requirements of the new 17 WSM cartridge. One obvious difference is the dual rear locking lugs. Another is the much heavier bolt spring than most rim fires. This is a necessity because of the thickness of the 17 WSM casing head and the force needed for the firing pin to ignite the priming mix. As the bolt handle is rotated into the receiver, this rotation compresses the bolt spring about a quarter inch. That's why there's stiffness in turning the bolt handle. Typical firing pins in a rimfire are a blade that strike and crimp the edge of the casing to ignite the primer mix. The B-Mag has a small round firing pin that strikes the head of the cartridge about 1 of an inch from the outside edge. The bolt shroud is contoured giving ample room to move the safety forward for fire and backwards for safe with your thumb. The carbon steel receiver is drilled and tapped at the factory and comes with scope mounts already installed. The bolt release is located on the left side of the receiver. A push of the button on the release allows the bolt to slide out easily. Now the B-Mag is equipped with the AccuTrigger and is adjustable from approximately 2.5 pounds to 4 pounds. However, the design is different. The trigger pull is easily adjusted by lifting and turning the adjusting screw with your fingers. No tools are required. The rotary magazine is something new for Savage. The contour on the bottom of the magazine matches the contour of the stock for a clean, smooth look. The magazine release is on the front of the magazine and has a nice, pronounced click when it seats. A guide on the back of the magazine rides in a groove to assure proper alignment and helps to secure the magazine in place. As the magazine is loaded, each of the eight cartridges are inserted into an individual channel on the perimeter of the rotating carrier so they don't touch. When you put it all together, Savage had to design and build a completely new action for the B-Mag, one with very little in common with other rimfire platforms. The stock is made from a black matte synthetic material that is textured in the forearm and the hand grip areas. The B-Mag stock has less than one inch drop at the heel. The soft rubber recoil pad is contoured to fit the shoulder comfortably. Sling mounts have already been installed at the factory. Now the stock is designed to allow the barrel to be free floating, which is another way to improve accuracy. 
The end result is a rifle with an overall length of 40 and a half inches and is incredibly light at only four and a half pounds. Depending on the scope and rings that are mounted, the BMAG can weigh in at under six pounds. At the range, bullet velocity was measured 10 feet from the muzzle with a pro chrono chronograph under less than favorable conditions. Winchester currently manufactures the 17 WSM with two different bullets. A 20 grain polymer tip rated at 3,000 feet per second and a 25 grain polymer tip rated at 2,600 feet per second. In my testing, the 20 grain polymer tip averaged 2,932 feet per second plus or minus 46 feet per second. The 25 grain polymer tip averaged 2,535 feet per second plus or minus 36 feet per second. Even though these results fell slightly under specs, there have been numerous articles written where the actual velocities exceeded Winchester's results. To test accuracy, the BMAG was equipped with a 3.5 to 10 by 50 Vortex Diamondback scope. With the nominal drop at the heel, the high-rise mounts needed for the big 50 millimeter objective lens put the scope at a very comfortable eye level. The BMAG was sighted in for 100 yards using the 20 grain polymer tip cartridge. Then, both variations of the bullet weight were evaluated. The 20 grain polymer tip typically produced three shot groups ranging from 0.7 to 1.6 inches. The 25 grain polymer tip had three shot groups normally ranging from 0.8 to 1.7 inches. The BMAG's barrel warmed up rather quickly with repetitive shooting. Three shot groups tended to open up as the barrel warmed up. By letting the barrel cool down between shots, the BMAG produced the best three shot groups. While these results are not as good as other people have reported with the BMAG, they are still very respectable results for a rimfire rifle. I have a Savage 93R17 and 17 HMR, but limit my groundhog shooting to 100 to 125 yards or less. The Savage BMAG could easily extend shots out to 200 yards. Something else to consider. The boom of a centerfire rifle can be disturbing to nearby homes. The quieter crack of a rimfire rifle is more acceptable. The 17 WSM in the BMAG gives you the advantage of longer range and more energy in a rimfire without the muzzle blast of a centerfire. I see the best utilization of the Savage BMAG as a youth varmint rifle. First, the rifle is lightweight, has minimal recoil, has less muzzle blast than a centerfire, gives substantially better ballistics than any other rimfire and is effective out to 200 yards. Second, the 17 WSM ammunition is only about 30 cents per round, about one third to one half the price of centerfire hunting ammunition. And third, with an MSRP of only $349, you're not investing a lot of money. Are there some things I don't like about the new BMAG? Yes, but they're more of a personal preference than functionality. I commend Savage for doing an outstanding job of bringing this new cartridge from Winchester to market in a rifle that had to be built almost from scratch and still maintain an affordable price. For more information about the Savage BMAG or the Winchester 17 WSM cartridges, check out their websites at savagearms.com and winchester.com. You can also read my complete detailed review at ohiovalleyoutdoors.com.